Good morning, it's your girl LMJ from Coffee and Conversations coming to you this morning with Sunday's inspiration. This morning's inspiration is kind of tag team or coupled with last week's inspiration on hesitation. And this week I wanna to talk to you about they will throw your rhythm off. And the they that I'm talking about is people. And this was actually inspired by something I saw on Real Talk Kim. She's one of the dopest women that I know in ministry. If you don't follow her, go follow her Real Talk Kim. Him. And she had a little meme that she posted that said, learning how to leave people alone and go on with your life is needed skill. You must master it. Last week, I talked to you about my um, desire to want to know how to double Dutch, right? To know how to double Dutch. And I talked to you about how hesitation keeps you from walking into your destiny, the call, your God-given purpose, whatever it is that you're supposed to master, whatever area of this world that you're supposed to rule. And um, this week, as I was meditating about how to be to encourage us to inspire the entrepreneur or the person in ministry, just the person that's in whatever walk of their life, I just started thinking about that they will throw our rhythm off. Um, as I was learning to double Dutch and I, I spent so much time watching other people that um, it began to throw like my rhythm off, like how I jumped. I spent like way too much time wa watching other people. I became most successful in double dutching. And the reality is I really had to close my eyes. Like I had to close my eyes and listen to the sound and the rhythm of the rope versus watching all the people around me. And that's going to be important for you in this next season as you're making this transition, as you're making the jump, that you learn to listen to that inner voice. You learn to listen to the sound because I'm telling you, people will throw your rhythm off. People will throw your rhythm off in such a way that if you spend so much time watching them, you'll learn their rhythm instead of the unique rhythm for what you have to do. So in this in this positioning, in getting yourself in position to leap, to jump, or to do whatever it is you're trying to do, you're going to have to detach yourself or stop watching all the people around you. Like I am, my circle is very small. My circle is very small. Who I'm attached to is very small for the things that I want to do and the places I want to go. I strategically have put the right people around me, which also brings up another, another point for me. Society is really teaching us how to network. You got to make sure that you're networking is not working for you. Sometimes we can spend so much time networking that it's not really working for us because we're in so many circles or in so many places that we're not strategically attached to the people that we need to. And so as I began to really learn how to double dutch, I had to shut out all the noise. Can I tell you something that was strategic that happened? I had a mentor fall in place. And I know this sounds out like funny, but I remember one time a good friend of mine jumped in with me and she held my hand and she helped me learn the rhythm which brings me to my second point to you I promise you everybody that you need will fall in place you don't have to force people to attach to this thing that you're being called to or this thing that you're moving into as I began coffee and conversations everyone be able, been, began to fall in place like providence occurred my girls began to attach to the vision vision I didn't have to ask them to they just began to lend their talents and their vision and, and their gifts to me without even charging me. Everybody began to shift in place, but that was because I, I found my rhythm, my thing, um, and I didn't let people throw my rhythm off. I didn't let people push me out too soon. I didn't let people tell me what this should look like. I found my rhythm, but it also meant that the third thing is I had to let some people go. Like I had to let some people go and shift some people out of position that I thought would go with me, that I thought would be with me. And I didn't have to make it a, a public announcement. I didn't have to write a Facebook status about how I was letting people go. I just began to compartmentalize 
and put those people in the boxes that I needed to be so that they wouldn't throw my rhythm off. It didn't have to be ugly. It was just a masterful exit of shifting things so that the things that were necessary for me and the people that were necessary for me could fall in place. Do you know if you have the wrong people in place, right? If you have the wrong people in place, then the right people can't get in place. And so this morning, I want to encourage you to, to find, figure it out, find your rhythm and find out who around you is throwing your rhythm off and just begin to compartmentalize them and put them in their places and find out whether or not your networker, networking is not working for you. Well, there again, this is your girl LMJ with Coffee and Conversations coming to you live with your Sunday inspiration. Share this YouTube video with someone. Get get um, subscribed to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on so that you don't miss these inspiring moments. See you soon. Peace and blessings.